Apparently, uh, Mr. Pai, the chairman of the FCC, has confirmed that he's going to recommend approving the revised T-Mobile Sprint deal. Yes, Ajit Pai has tweeted it out, and he's also said that in light of the new commitments that both of the companies are making, um, uh, sort of structural a uh, couple of changes to the merger, um, he will he will agree to uh, approve it. And the question now remains what the DOJ will do, whether Macon Del Rahim at the DOJ will follow suit um, or whether he's going to raise further issues. So, Navila, this has been kicking around for some time now, as you know. What has broken the logjam? Is it the sale of part of their pre-owned business? Is that what really done it? Yeah, look, that's a big part of it. Um, that was in, uh, that was a contentious issue from the beginning. So they're going to sell one of their three prepaid brands, um, and it's Boost Mobile. Um, that's one of the fastest growing brands. It's quite popular as well. And together, the companies Sprint and T-Mobile after the merger would have had about 42% market share. So that was a big concern. They've also made some commitments around how long it will take to build out their 5G network. They're saying they'll do that within three years. They're also saying that they will freeze prices um, for that three-year period, and also they've given some guarantees around access in rural areas as well, which was also quite important. So, Nabila, where does this leave the rest of the players in the industry then? Well, there are, I mean, we're going from four to three. It looks like if the DOJ does follow suit um, behind the FCC, um, and that's that's where we'll be. And you know, a lot of people thought that it was necessary because Sprint, um, you know, has has been under a lot of pressure itself. It's it's very much debt laden, and that even if this deal didn't go through, um, you know, Sprint would have had to have either sought a different partner um, or collapse really. Nabila, you raise a really good point. We still have the Department of Justice. Do we have any reason to believe they might differ from the FCC? Uh, look, we, <laughs> the Department of Justice um, has tended, as, as you know, from other deals um, in recent times, uh, the at and Time Warner deal, for example, um, hasn't always behaved in a way that you might think that they would. Um, but in this instance, you would think that, that you know, fair. if the FCC is satisfied on these grounds, um, right. that should be enough, but you never know.